Hey, it's Mario here and in this video we're going to go into how do you structure your workout plan for maximum flexibility and consistency. And this is a key, right? Consistency is the key to success when it comes to lifting, especially as a natural lifter. You need to be lifting for years and decades if you want to maximize your results. And life happens. We need to be flexible. And often we end up sleeping two hours a night. You don't have a lot of time. You just simply are, are under too much stress. A lot of stuff happens, you, you're traveling, you just can't accommodate for your both your training goals, but at the same time, you wanna achieve so much more in your life. So how do we uh, be flexible with our training? And this is something I wanted to investigate a little bit, and I looked into the research and bring you a couple of studies that looked at what happens if you go for a flexible model. And what a flexible model is, is that basically you get to choose whether you do a light day or a hard day or kind of a moderate difficulty day. And the first study that I want to mention here is McNamara and Stern from 2010, which is also going to be linked in the description below for you guys that I want to read the full paper and everything that comes with that. And basically what they did is they looked at college students and they were beginners and they looked at them. Okay, there's two groups. We're going to divide you one group. You guys are going to uh, have the ability to choose which day you're going to do. So they had workouts uh, that were 20 reps. 15 reps and 10 reps. So basically the most lightest workout possible, like 20 reps, not pushing yourself too hard. That is kind of the light workout. And then you have the moderate difficulty, which is about 15 reps. And then you have the 10 reps, which is kind of a heavier workout where you really have to put in a lot of effort. So they told the group one, well, you guys basically have a choice. Anytime you walk into the gym, you get to choose to train when you're ready. So you get to pick whether you're gonna do the workout that is 20 reps or the 15 or the 10 one. And the second group had to follow a rigid style. Basically, okay, if it's Monday, it's 10 reps. If it's Wednesday, it's 15 or whatever they had in the study, but it was a fixed order, so they had to do the fixed amount. It doesn't matter if you slept two hours, you still have to do the 10 rep a day. And what they found in the study was quite fascinating because the group that was flexible actually made more gains. So they made more progress and the kind of the reason behind that is probably because they could do more volume. They were instructed to do the same amount of reps and the same amount of um, overall sets, but the group that was more fresh and I could choose, okay, I'm gonna do the hardest day today because I feel great about myself. I did a lot of good stuff. I rested, I'm, I'm on top of my diet, I had my sleep. And this group actually made a lot more gains when it came to the measurement where they used the leg press uh, compared to the group that had the rigid style where they were forced to do the hard workout even on a day where they didn't feel right. So super cool study. I'm going to link it as I said in the description below. And the second study actually done at the University of South Florida from 2016 that looked at more experienced lifters and they had to have uh, more than six months of experience lifting. They were relatively strong and basically looked at, again, a flexible model versus a rigid model. So in this study, the gains were quite equal. So both of the groups did the same amount of volume. They gained the same amount of uh, progress in that study, which was, I believe, 16 weeks. And they basically gained the same amount of increase in their one rep max. They tested the bench press, the squat, the deadlift. So there's really no point if you have a stressful life, if you have a lot of shit going on, that you have to stick with your schedule if the schedule is rigid. So if the schedule says tomorrow you have to do a one rep max test, you know, you have to go to the gym, often what will happen is that guys will say, well, shit, I'm not gonna do anything that day. I'm gonna do less work, I'm gonna uh, walk less, I'm gonna do all these things to adjust myself to that specific day. And if you're traveling, you can't really do that. And let's say you're traveling to a new city, bam, at the same day, you have to find a gym and you have to do that strength workout, you're probably not gonna be able to do that. So at that situation, it's important to have that flexibility to choose, well, I'm gonna do a lighter week, this whole week if necessary, because I'm in a new city, and then later on, I might do a couple of strength sessions in a row if I choose to. And that is the flexibility there that's gonna allow you to do more volume, gain more uh, strength at the end of the day, even if you are experienced, the results is probably gonna be the same. And for beginners, you might even be gaining some more progress if you do the flexible model. And this is often what I use when I travel. Let's say right now I'm in a new city, I just arrived and today I haven't been to the gym yet and I have about two hours left. And by the time I pack, by the time I get to the gym, by the time I warm up and do all these things, I'm probably gonna have 35 minutes 
to finish the workout. Am I gonna do my one rep max testing this day? You know, obviously not. Even if I had it planned, I would have probably said, okay, no, I'm gonna delay that. I'm gonna just do some higher rep stuff. I'm just gonna get the work done and go out. And that's basically the kind of mentality you wanna have as well, consistency over perfection. So it's important for me not to miss the workout. It's not important to me to get that specific results. I just basically love the process. I'm gonna go lift some weights. I'm gonna have fun there. I'm just gonna not miss my workout because I know it's very, very important for me. I love to lift weights at the same time. I just love the process. So I'm just gonna be more flexible. And that's something I advise with a lot of my clients you want to keep that open-minded kind of um, structure where you're just simply looking at whatever life throws at you. You can just wiggle your way around and you can adjust to that. So quick video here. I'm going to link these studies in the description below as well. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you're following currently a fixed schedule where you're just simply fixed. Okay, I'm going to do strength day today. I'm going to do a hypertrophy day today. I'm going to do a low rep or a high rep, whatever you want to call it. Or are you being more flexible? Are you listening to your body? Are you being more kind of intuitive, auto-regulating uh, style of workout. So let me know in the comments below. Aside from that, make sure to hit that subscribe button below to support this channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.